In this lesson we're going to quickly have a look at all of the free pre-made projects that are available for us to use on Canvas Workspace. Now I've logged in to Canvas Workspace, the online version, and you'll be able to see all of those pre-made projects listed down below. So you can scroll through and have a look at all the projects that are available. Now I'm going to show you how you access them and then how you download them. So if for example I go to the one up at the top that says Sloth Garland, I just click on the name and a new window will open. Now in that window you're going to find a video and if you play the video you'll see that it shows you exactly how to put the project together once you have cut it out. Then below the video there is a PDF that says get the recipe. So we are going to download this PDF because that is going to explain to us step by step what we need to do, what pieces of card we'll need and what other bits and pieces we'll need to create this project. Then below that they show you all of the parts for that particular project. So there's part A, part B and part C and we are going to download those. So we're going to start off by getting the recipe. Now obviously if you want to watch the video once you've cut it all out then you can come back and look at it or you can look at it after you have got the recipe. So I'm going to download the recipe now when I download it you'll see it opens up and then you have the option either to print it or you can save it. So I'm just going to right click and say save as. So I'm going to go to my desktop because on my desktop I have a folder called Scan and Cut 2020. So all the projects that I do this year go into that folder. So I click on that and you'll see that inside there is the Canvas Workspace Projects. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to create a folder for this project. So I right click and I just say new folder and I'm going to call that the sloth garland. So we'll just rename that quickly and call it sloth garland and then I always like to put a date just so that I know when I downloaded it. Now the reason that I've got my scan and cut folder on my desktop is so that I can access it quickly for the purpose of these videos. But you can create your folder wherever you like. And then once I'm inside there, I have created that Canvas Workspace Projects folder and then inside there are all of the ones that I download. So I click on that and then I just say save. So that is now saved in that folder. Now I'm going to go back and I need to download all the parts. Now you'll notice that they are zipped files. So if I click on here it's going to download a zipped folder. So now it's put those into my download folder. So I go and I just say show in folder and there it is and I'm going to just cut that. So I right click and say cut go to my desktop, to my scan and cut, to the canvas workspace projects and then to that garland folder and then I'm going to say paste. So now it's taken it out of my downloads folder so that's empty now and it's put it into the sloth garland folder. Now the reason that we need to put it into this folder is that we need to unzip this. We cannot send a zipped file to our scan and cut machine. So I'm going to just click on it and say open 
and then my unzipping program is going to ask me if I want to unzip these. So I'll say yes, but unzip them to the folder that I choose. So I click on that, and now because I've got this folder open, it's going to put them in there. So I just say unzip, and there they are. So you'll see that you have the FCM files, so that's part A, part B and part C, and those FCM files are the ones that we can send to our scan and cut. So you can either open them on Canvas Workspace and then send them wirelessly, or you could just pop them all onto a USB stick and take them over to your machine. Now you'll also notice that there is a JPEG file, and if I click on that, you'll see it just gives you a picture of what the project will look like when it's finished. So now I've got everything all together, so if I want to create this project, I just go to the PDF, and then I can have a look and see exactly what it is that I need, and then they will give me all the hints and tips, and they will tell me step by step exactly how I'm going to cut all these pieces out, what they'll look like once they cut out, and then if I continue down, they tell you how to assemble the whole project. Now once you've gone through that you can also then just go back to that video and have a look at that as well. So that is how simple it is to actually download one of those projects. So we'll just quickly go through it again and have a look. So I'm going to go back to my Canvas workspace and I'm going to close that project. Now if I decide that I want to do the Unicorn mobile then I just click on that then it's going to open it. Once again there's the video, here's the recipe. So we'll download the recipe and then I just right click and I say save as. Now I'm going to go to my desktop and then I'm going to go to my scan and cut folder, go to my canvas workspace, right click say create a new folder and I'm going to call it, call it the unicorn mobile. And I open that and save. So that's done. So now I can close the recipe. Now I'm going to download all the parts. So there it's downloaded them. I right click, I say show in folder. There it is under my downloads. So I right click and I say cut. Go to my desktop, scan and cut, Canvas Workspace Project, Unicorn Mobile, right click, paste. There it is, all zipped up. So now I want to unzip, so I say open. Unzip them to the folder that I choose. Unzip, and there they all are. So now this one has got parts A, B, C, D, and E. Those all need to go to the scan and cut machine. So once again, I can open them while I'm in Canvas come to this folder, open all these parts, and then send it wirelessly to my scan and cut, or I could put them onto a USB stick, and I could then pop that into the machine. So once again, there's also the JPEG file to show you a picture of exactly what it looks like. And then up at the top is my PDF file, which is the recipe, so I can quickly have a look and see exactly what I'm going to need for the project, and then I can go through the project. Obviously, I can also go back to Canvas Workspace, and I can watch the video. So there it is there. So that is how simple it is to download these projects and save them on your PC. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canvas Workspace and then I'll show you how you open them from your folder. Now that I have saved those projects into folders on my PC, I'm going to go and create a new project. 
Now once I'm in the create a new project page I'm going to go to the SVG icon because it says that is how I will import SVG, DXF and FCM files. So those files that we downloaded were FCMs. So I say choose the, fi the file, go to my desktop, scan and cut 2020, canvas workspace project and if I wanted to open the sloth garland then I would open all of the little FCM files. So we just click on and say open, OK. So that is part A. Now that I can send to my scan and cut machine. Now the way that I would do that is say download and then I would transfer it either wirelessly or I could have taken the FCM from that folder, put it onto a USB stick and put that into the machine. So that is how simple it is. Then once we have finished with that, we would then go and download part B and part C and send them to the machine to cut. So that is just how simple it is. Now we're going to have a look at how we would open our Canvas projects on the Canvas workspace but the PC version which is the offline version. So you'll still be able to access all of those projects but when you click on the projects you'll see they open slightly differently to how they would on the online version. So you will still have access to the video as long as you have an internet connection you'll have access to the recipe so you would just click on the recipe you would say save go to your desktop to the scan and cut folder canvas workspace projects and then you would create a new folder like I had done there and save the PDF but it's already there so I'm just going to cancel that now let's take a look at downloading the parts if you click on this it's not going to download as a zip file like it did on the online version because obviously you're going to have access to the individual parts because you are not online so they give you the part so it will be part A and you'll see that if you minimize this box it's already put the parts onto your cutting mat so from here is where you will either save them to your computer or send them directly to the scan and cut. So if I go file and I say export or transfer the FCM file it will ask me if I want to put it into a folder on my computer in which case I would go to my desktop, my scan and cut folder, my canvas workspace project and then I would save the parts into that folder there. So you would have to give it a name and say part A dot FCM. I'm not going to do that because all the parts are already in there. But if you wanted to transfer via the internet, then you could transfer directly. But remember, you would have to have an internet connection. You could also transfer via a USB cable. But what you would need to do if you intended on putting them onto a stick is you would first have to export part A to your PC and save it and then you would have to create a new project and then you would go back to that minimized screen and then you would click on part B and it would be on your mat then you would say file export or transfer and transfer it either to your PC so that you could put it onto a stick or transfer via the internet. Then you would go file new project and then go to your minimized screen and then click on the last part which would then be loaded onto your mat and then once again you would go file export either to your PC so that you could put it onto a USB stick 
or if you're connected to the internet transfer it directly to your scan and cut so those are all the options and you can see how it is slightly different to if you are working online